it's ta welcome back and if you're new welcome thanks so much for stopping by i really appreciate you so i know i've been a little mia um unfortunately we lost a family member very recently so um yeah so i'm back let's do this um so today we're going to do an update on something i should have updated a while back but it didn't and that is what i'm looking like so far with the two readathons i'm doing which is bookopoly for the whole month and seasonathon academy for the whole month um i'm not doing horrible but you know we still we only have a few days left of this month and i still have um more books to read so i'll probably roll those over and just keep trucking along um, I'm not going to blame myself for this. We're just going to truck it. All right. So one book that I had on both. I have two books that are on both um, readathons. And the first one is Alice Feeney, um, her book Daisy Darker. This one is about um, the Darker family. They get invited to Nana's 80th birthday. Her birthday is on Halloween and they celebrate there. And um, while they're there, Nana winds up dead as well as another family member. And the Daisy Darkers, I mean the Darker, excuse me, Daisy's just one of those Darkers. Um, they have secrets, secrets that are being held on to um, and Secrets are going to start coming to light. So, I literally just finished this book. And we all like to solve that mystery before, see if we can solve it before we get to the end of it. So, this book right here is 335-ish pages. About two-thirds of the way, I got part of the plot. And I was super duper excited. But I didn't get all of it. But it was still really good. Um, this one we watched the whole family get there. And then Nana. Um, you know it's her birthday. So we're celebrating that. And then every. the A wheel gets read. Because Nana believes she's going to die on her 80th birthday or whatever. Um, so. That gets read, everybody goes to bed, and before you know it, we're kicking off some stuff. And the entire time, you you know, you have all the members of the family there. Each sister is named after some sort of flower. So you have Lily, Rose, and Daisy, and then mother and father, and then Nana. And then one other person, and two other people are there. And you really have a good cast where you have to figure out, okay, who done it and really good does get a little dark at times does does um, but they are trapped on an island where Nana lives and the tide um, it takes eight hours for the tide to go back out for them to be able to leave so they're trapped in this house things are happening and really good I'm glad I chose this one. I have liked all of the Alice Feeney books that I have read. So I figured we we were going to get another good one. This I think this is the closest I've come to actually like guessing hers. I don't think I've... I'm trying to remember if there's any book that I actually guessed the entire thing. Like the whole plot. You know what I mean? Like the whole solution, I guess I should say. Who killed him? Why? The whole nine yards. So, really good. And then the next book that is for bro both um, readathons, that would be Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. And if you have not watched um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, um, don't read this yet because some things you just won't understand, but thoroughly enjoyed this one too this one was really good it was a little slow for me in the beginning but i think it's because uh, i just had a lot going on um but i did get into it and when i got to really good part like 
we flew through that. So this one right here is Sally, the rag doll. Um, she, if you watched The Nightmare Before Christmas, you know Dr. Finkelstein, I think it's how you, Finkelstein, something like that, um, created her in the lab and she has always wanted to get away from him. So she does everything she can to get away from him. She has this huge crush on Jack and needless to say, he does too. And um, a year, pretty much almost like two weeks prior to a year, so pretty much a year after the Nightmare Before Christmas, we see the start of this story and they get married and then they decide to go on their honeymoon. And again, we get to go into the forest where um, all the holiday doors are. And Jack has visited just about all of them on his own. This time he's bringing his bride with him, his wife, and they're going to go to Valentine's Town. So we get to experience Valentine's Town um, through both of their eyes. And I'm just saying, Tim Burton, if you hear this, make make a movie please where we get to visit all these different lands it's amazing anyway um so we get to do all that they come back and sally just feels like it she's bombarded everybody keeps calling her the pumpkin queen and she just she doesn't want to be the center of attention she just wants her life to kind of be like it was but everybody's trying to make it this big ordeal where like you need a dress you need a crown you need this um and all this other stuff so she's struggling with that so she's kind of wishing like, hey, I want to be by myself. And her and Zero, the dog, they go out into the woods where the trees are and stuff. And they find this secret one. And something gets let into town. And now Sally has to fix it because no one is awake except for her and she can't understand why she's still awake so we get to watch her go into each of these towns and try to figure out what's going on and just the little bit of a hint of like all the town stuff we get to see like the different holiday towns i'm so jealous i would really like a whole movie on that because like in the book you, you can't really go into complete depth of all of that without it being you know like a huge book but I would like either another book written or another movie made where we get to go discover all these holiday towns together because they sound magnificent but um so yeah we get to see her try to figure it out and then you know what happens next all in all, it's a great story. Shay Earnshaw, um, I don't know where she gets all of her ideas from, but I really like this idea. I liked it. And like I said, I'd like to see it as a movie. Anybody else? Or is that just me? Anyway. <laughs> so, the only other book that's part of the readathons that I read, um, because I did read a few of the other ones from actual TPR, but I'm not going to talk about all of those yet. Uh, is The Cocky Roommate, and that was for Bookopoly for my mood read. I put it there. Um, this one is by Claire Kingsley. Excuse me, I have to burp. It, I had Mexican. <sighs> anyway, so um, Cocky Roommate is the second book in the trilogy of Book Boyfriends by Claire, and this one didn't disappoint either. So this one right here follows the story of the main character in the first book, his sister. She is his editor, agent, whatever you want to call it. He's a writer and she takes care of him. She has other clients or whatever. Well, anyway, she is looking for a roommate and she tells her brother this. So her brother, um, he has a friend that uh, needs a roommate. Like, he needs a place to stay while his... The person needs a place to stay while their house gets renovated. So, he says, hey, sis, I got somebody for you. So, she's... I don't remember if she's, like, on vacation. She's out of town at the moment. She might be at some work convention thing. I don't know. Um, 
Well, anyway, so when she gets home, the roommate is already moved in. So there's this woman that comes into the kitchen, and she's kind of dressed up for, like, the morning. And she starts, you know, chatting with her or whatever. And then a man comes out of the room, and she's like, oh, my God, I'm gawking at my roommate's boyfriend. Like, what? So we uh find out after a few minutes of some very awkward conversation. Um, her brother calls and explains, like, the dude is her roommate not the lady the lady was just his one night so it's already a little weird after that but we get to see kind of the relationship blossom and not blossom if that makes sense like you stay out of my way I stay out of your way type stuff well he gets he winds up getting hurt and he needs to be basically nursed so she does it but a lot happens it gets ugly pretty fast between the two of them but it's hea so we all know who the how those work out but i'm not going to tell you like exactly how it works out but it was a really good story um had a little, little touches of spice in it not overly but enough to satisfy if you're looking for some spice but not all of it there is a storyline there um so definitely a good read if you wanted to read a book with just a little bit of spice about book boyfriends so yeah those are the three books <laughs> that i read off of the actual readathon um picks that i had so i'm currently working on another book which is family of liars um, which is the prequel to We're All Liars? Is that what it is? I can't remember the name of the first one. But anyway, it's the prequel. So, um, yeah. I'm going to get that finished. And that only leaves me... One, two... Two more books to read to finish off both readathons. So, here are my highlights. As you can see... That's the TBR. I got a couple more I need to highlight, and then the readathons. So yeah, I'm not doing horrible, but I don't think I'm gonna finish everything by September 30th. I'll be close, but I don't think I'm gonna finish it all. But it's okay. I'm not gonna count myself out. We're just gonna roll it over, and I'll get to it when I get to it. So hope you guys enjoyed did you read any of these did you like them let me know down below and i will see you guys next time bye guys